good morning everybody it is sunday probably november 6th somewhere around there if it isn't i'll correct it below um it's early eh, it's not that early the sun's coming up so it's about seven o'clock it's daylight savings time the first day of daylight savings time so it's uh probably a little later i got up at 4 30 but I probably should have adjusted it back to four, or four because uh, daylight savings time wasn't just a half hour. Anyways, I'm uh, on my way into the woods today. I'm gonna try and do a little less talking in the uh, in the blind and definitely a lot less of this right here. We'll try and keep it out here a little bit more and uh, we'll see what we get. So I'll let you know. Well, that was not a good way to start the morning. I'm uh, back there, I'm in my spot, and I hear what sounds like a deer coming through. And uh, it was another deer. It was a guy getting ready to put a saddle up. So he starts climbing the tree. And uh, so I started doing some grunt calls, very non-authentic grunt calls. Tried to do some uh, tapping on the tree. Da 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 da. Nothing. Keeps climbing. You know, a lot of people get all upset and want to raise hell about that, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's Sunday morning. Good kids. I ended up. Uh, walking out and he came walking out uh, shortly after I did and his buddy just got a doe so we walked down there and uh, kind of hung out with him for a little bit it was nice good kids they're from my area my general area and uh, yeah that's public land man I'm not gonna be that guy and uh, anything I can do to keep the younger kids involved and interested in the uh, in the activity is is it's well worth it so now it's a little later after hanging out with him uh, so I'm gonna wander down and see if I can't find one of my other spots that's a little hot this morning and uh, we'll go back at it. Well, I moved to a different location and uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of this one. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay out here this morning. I'll be out here for a little bit, but probably not too long. I don't want to go to too many of the other spots because I know that other people use them as well. And being Sunday morning, there's probably a lot of people out here, so I'm going to probably err on the side of caution and just kind of stay put for a little bit and see if anything decides to wander down this trail and uh, head home, maybe catch a football game. We'll see. Yeah, so it was an interesting day today. Um, those young guys I met today we did uh, did a good job. That that uh, the button buck that he got thought it was a dove. Got up there and saw it was a button buck. He uh, he nailed it. It's a front shot, right through. Uh, it was and it was down. I don't know, 25 yards maybe away from where he hit it at. Did a really good job. Uh, he hit it through and through. Well, almost through and through. The arrow came out as we were tracking it. And uh, I, like I said, I don't think it went 25 yards. So that's two young guys that take this very serious. And uh, I say congratulations to both of them. Um, a lot of people get into this and they don't take the time to practice. And they don't take the time to kind of tune their equipment. And these two young guys did a great job and they both took the time needed, put the effort needed into place and took the animals as quickly and as humanely as possible. And, you know, and the, the whole goal of this is a merciful kill. And they were able to do that. Both of them were able to do that with their deer this year. So I say thumbs up to both of them. Congratulations, guys, if you're watching this. Nice work. As for me, I decided after that it's time to go home. It's Sunday. Uh, not exactly the day in the woods that I was looking for. I plan on being back out Tuesday. And uh, we'll see what we get. It's a beautiful day today. The sky is blue. 
and uh, yeah, I may not have got something, but somebody else did, and I was able to help them a little bit with that, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. All right, today we're doing something a little different. Well, a little more different than we did before. Today we're trying a new spot. And when I say a new spot, I mean a completely new spot. A uh, completely different county. This is the county that uh, I actually live in. And we are out at the public hunting grounds out here. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. I wouldn't call this an audible. Let's just say we're exploring a few other alternatives. So it's uh, November 10th and I am going to wander into this area. There's a beautiful lake here and uh, it's a good sign. I've already seen a doe, so that's a good start to the day. And uh, there's nobody here, which is kind of surprising on November 10th that nobody would be here. Um, I actually expected this place to be packed this morning and uh, nobody. So let's go see what we can get into. And uh, we're gonna have to start from scratch pretty much because I haven't scouted this area at all, but uh, I'm hoping we come across something nice. So let's see what we got. Well, it's been a very interesting day so far. I, uh, I saw three does on the way in. The other place I hunted, it's got a lot of little trails here and there, but this place is very thick. And you can see behind me, the lake usually comes to like right here. But I guess I could trudge out into that, but I don't really feel like it's stuck in the mud today either. So it's pretty. Regardless of the uh, water level, it's definitely pretty. So, all right, I'm gonna keep trudging along and see what I can find. I see a couple of timber stands, and you know me, I like to get into those, so let's see if I can't break off and get into one of those. Let's see what we got. It is no doubt a different area over here than what I've been used to. The place I usually go to is much more landlocked. It's got a lot more kind of timber stands and things of that sort. This place is literally right on the edge of a lake. It's got a decent little clearing here with a bunch of uh, paths and stuff running through, so I'm hoping maybe I'll see something wander through here. I mean, we've already started off the day with one doe before we even got in here three dough when we were walking along and uh yeah who knows but i am definitely downwind i checked that definitely downwind and uh hunting area looks like they might come through so let's see what happens sneaking around the edge of where I'm at. I'm kind of close to a transition. And uh, I decided to try and call one in, rattle a little bit, and hit, a, um, hit the call a couple times. Had a grunt uh, just over the edge of where I'm at. This is pretty active. I'm kind of surprised. Kind of 
disappointing. I've been driving, uh, been driving so far when there's potential right here around the corner, but that's all right. Like I said, I didn't get out and scout anything this year. I'm not sure the spot I'm in is the best spot. sit down for right now, which I've been doing for the last, I don't know, couple hours. Haven't had anything walk directly in on me yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's about, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, 11.30, noon, somewhere around there. And I didn't get anything that came in directly, so I decided to get up and do a little bit of exploring. Check the area out, because obviously I always wanted to come back here. Well, I have definitely hunted uglier areas. I thought the lake was low due to the drought, but I just ran into a guy who fishes here a lot, and he said they do this every year in order to do dock maintenance, so that makes sense. So I just walked along the edge of the uh, lake and got on the other side of where I was hunting at, and uh, God, it's just as nice over here as it is on the other side, so I'm going to do some more exploring and see what I can come across, and well, I'm actually where I wanted to be whenever I started out today. Ironically, I ended up exactly the spot I was looking for. This morning I saw it on the map and thought that's a pretty good spot right there. Small little funnel next to the lake. And uh, you can see the lake behind me right, right there. Access to the lake, so I thought this would probably be a pretty good spot and I think I might be right on that. Interesting. Now I gotta figure out how to get in here without having to go through the lake. And that may be harder than I think. But I'm gonna try and head back to the main trail and see if I can't figure that out. All right, well, I made it out, and that uh, that last little bit was kind of like life. When you're about to give up and go the other direction, you find a breakthrough. So I was able to get out. Uh, it's not the easiest path in and out, and believe me, with all the small pine twigs and everything in there, I'm not sure it's possible to even sneak in there. It sounded like a uh, Mack truck driving through the forest. But at least we know where we're going, and if the water's down, I can sneak in through the water, and that would do good. But yeah, so a couple of uh, different places, 
and uh, we'll see how that works out. Morning, everybody. It is Monday, November 14th. I'm back out at uh, my old place that I go to, and I think I'm gonna go back to the place where I've seen the couple of bucks at. Small ones, obviously. One of them is no longer with us. He is uh, in somebody's freezer. The uh, two young kids that I met the uh, last time I was out here, one of them took the, uh, the, that, uh, the buck I had the video of, the one with the real curved tines on it. And it is chilly today. It's, I think, 28 degrees, high is 38. It's a little bit of snow on the ground, so it's finally starting to feel like deer season. I need to get all bundled up and start walking out. So let's see what we get into today. feeling it probably had a little bit of, well, it was probably occupied over the weekend. Oh well, I thought I left the spot alone for a while, but it's probably glad you can't count on anybody else leaving it alone, so gun season starts in less than a week. It's super quiet out here this morning. I kind of feel a little more activity for November 14th, but it's all right. I'm going to say it again. It's still a long season ahead of us.
it's been real quiet this morning. I haven't seen anything. The, uh, lots of squirrels and a chipmunk. I don't like to use the word bust, but if ever, today would definitely be a bust. That's all right. Sit a little while longer on my head out. Well, we got in today about seven and it is almost 11 o'clock and I'm going to have to call it a day. I've got some family stuff I need to get taken care of and uh, so I got to go do that. Uh, it's November 14th. Next Monday is uh, actually next Saturday is the start of gun season and I really haven't decided if I'm coming out for gun season or not. I mean, I can still bow hunt during that, but I gotta wear orange. And uh, the woods are definitely a little different when you're uh, when you're out during gun season. So may try and avoid that. Um, not really sure. But this is all for this week's uh, video. I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, get this one posted and get it out there. Um, I try and do three goes at a time, so. Well, uh, this will be the third one, and I was kind of hoping to have a little better morning this morning with the cold weather coming in, but I saw bupkis, uh, chipmunk, and a few squirrels. But either way, it's a nice day out in the woods. It's a little cold. If you, uh, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and uh, we're going to get something this year. Or is it going to get a deer or a cold? I think we might have a cold. I had a little coughing fit there. That didn't exactly help my chances this morning either. So, But, uh, hey, there's a lot of season left. And uh, I'm going to take you along for every one. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.